Welcome to the Essential Video Series. I'm Jan Paramburov, founder of Film Impact Premium Tools. Today's video is about the Film Impact's Dissolve transition. The Dissolve is one of the earliest transitions in film history. It gradually fades one clip out while the next one fades in, creating a smooth overlap between the two. This transition doesn't rely on motion or sharp cuts, instead it flows gently from one scene to the next. Of course, you know that Premiere Pro comes with its own cross-dissolve. But there's a noticeable difference. Let's see what the built-in cross-dissolve looks like compared to the Film Impact Dissolve. I have them here side by side and open up the Lometri scope to see what's happening. As you can see, throughout the transition, the cross-dissolve transitions linearly, instead of our dissolve, which has a natural ease. This is why we always advise adding Film Impact's dissolve as your default video transition. Let's do that right now. Right-click on the transition and click Set as Default Transition. Done. Here are several ways to apply the Dissolve. In the Effects panel, search for Dissolve Impacts and drag it to the cut. Alternatively, you can open up the Film Impact Dashboard by going into Window, Extensions, Film Impact Dashboard. Here, you can use the search bar or enter the Essentials Transitions to find it. Select the two clips in your sequence then hit Apply. But now that we've set the Film Impact Dissolve as your default transition, the fastest way to apply it is select a cut, then hit the shortcut Shift-D. This will apply the Film Impact Dissolve immediately. It's time to dive deeper and check out all the options. Start by clicking the transition, then head to the Effects Controls panel. Here, you'll find all the customization options. One of the first things you'll notice is the Surprise Me button. Each click applies a different randomized setting, giving you a new take on the transition. And it's an easy way to preview the range of styles available and quickly find something that fits your edit. Next, you'll see the Visual Curve Editor. This graph represents the timing of the dissolve. You can play with the easing values to adjust the steepness of the curve. Below the curve editor, you'll find the type dropdown. And these types change the way how the dissolve behaves. Cross dissolve is the default, which from a computational point of view, makes a literal cross. It fades one clip away and simultaneously introduces the new clip. Film dissolve compensates for that slight dip in color in the middle of the transition, resulting in a fade with constant power. Highlight Dissolve favors highlights and keeps displaying brighter colors. Lowlight Dissolve is the opposite of Highlight Dissolve. Lowlight Dissolve favors colors with lower brightness. Last but not least, Natural Dissolve. Natural Dissolve ensures that color blends are perceived as more balanced. Here's a comparison between the Cross Dissolve and the Natural Dissolve based on two opposite RGB colors. As you can see, the colors correlate better during the blend. We also added a focus point to the Dissolve to give you more control over guiding the audience attention. Turn up the focus amount and change the focus position to where you wanted the dissolve to happen ahead of time. Let's check out a side-by-side -side comparison and see the difference. Another way to use the dissolve transition is to add it to an adjustment layer. For those who've never worked with an adjustment layer before, See it as a merge container for all the video tracks below. 
adding a dissolve to an adjustment layer allows you to fade out all the video layers at once, which is very effective for either the start or end of your video. That's it for all the functionality that comes with our dissolve transition. Thank you for watching and see you next time.